Have you ever wondered if there's a hidden side to the internet, a place where secrets lurk in the shadows? Welcome to the realm of the dark web, an elusive part of the internet not indexed by conventional search engines. It's a world that requires special software to access, a world often associated with a reputation for illegal activities. Yet it's not all shadowy figures and clandestine deals. Legitimate uses exist within its confines too. So, the dark web isn't just a den of criminal activity, it's much more complex. You might have heard the terms dark web and deep web used interchangeably, but are they really the same thing? Well, not quite. Let's clear the air. The deep web is like an underwater iceberg. It's vast and hidden, comprising all parts of the internet not indexed by search engines. This includes emails, private databases, and members-only websites. It's where you'll find your online banking details and subscription-only content. Essentially, it's the bulk of the internet that's out of sight yet mostly harmless. On the other hand, the dark web is a smaller, murkier part of this iceberg. It's a subset of the deep web, but its content is intentionally hidden and requires specific software to access. It's notorious for hosting illegal activities, but it's also a haven for activists and whistleblowers. Thus, while the dark web is part of the deep web, they are not the same thing. Curious about how one might stumble into this hidden part of the internet? Well, the first step is downloading a browser that can access .onion sites, the most popular being Tor, short for the onion router. This browser routes your connection through multiple servers worldwide, effectively cloaking your IP address. Now you've got the browser, but wait a minute. Before diving in, you need to ramp up your security. Use a virtual private network, or VPN, to add an extra layer of protection. This anonymizes your internet connection and makes it much more difficult for prying eyes to track your activities. Remember, accessing the dark web isn't illegal. However, many activities carried out there can be. So, tread carefully. There's a lot of illicit stuff that you'd do best to steer clear of. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your dark web access wisely. Now let's delve into the nefarious reputation of the dark web. This vast, unregulated part of the internet is notorious for its association with a myriad of illegal activities. Picture this, a digital black market teeming with illicit goods and services. From drug trafficking and illegal firearm sales to the trading of stolen personal information, the dark web is a hotbed for criminal activity. What makes these transactions even more insidious is the role of cryptocurrencies. With their promise of anonymity, Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have become the preferred mode of payment in these shady dealings. They provide an added layer of obscurity, making it difficult for law enforcement agencies to trace these transactions back to their source. But remember, the dark web isn't inherently evil. It's a tool, like any other, and its use depends on the hands that wield it. While the dark web can be a tool for privacy, it can also be a haven for illicit activities. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's a brighter side to the dark web as well. You see, while it's true that the dark web can be home to some nefarious activities, it also serves as a beacon of hope for many around the world. Consider whistleblowers, for instance. These are the brave souls who often put their careers and sometimes their lives on the line to expose corruption and wrongdoing. The dark web provides them an anonymous platform to share sensitive information without fear of retribution. Moreover, the dark web is also a protector of privacy. In an age where our every click, like, and share is tracked, analyzed, and sold, the dark web offers a haven. Here, users can browse, communicate, and transact without leaving a digital footprint. And let's not forget about those living under oppressive regimes where censorship is the norm. For them, the dark web is a window to the world, a way to access blocked content, and a platform to voice their opinions freely. There you have it. The dark web is a double-edged sword, offering both a sanctuary for privacy and a playground for criminals.